Joe Gibbs Racing doesn't just travel by ground, they also fly across the country. One of my major duties here at Joe Gibbs Racing is to administer the licensing process for NASCAR. So for you to go to the track each week, you have to have a NASCAR license as a crew member. Everybody that's on the pit crew and that travels to the racetrack every weekend, they're going to have an annual credential in addition to the NASCAR license. To um, purchase, say, 50 annual credentials and 70 licenses for one team is about $150,000. So altogether, we're spending about 450 grand just to get our people licensed and ready to go to Daytona. Coordinating a typical travel weekend uh, for each race, I normally start a month before that particular race. You have everybody going to the same destination, but sometimes at a different time or a different way. The bulk of our guys, they go out Thursday and come back Sunday, and they're there all weekend. And then we have our uh, race day guys that go in the day of the race. We have our own aviation department. That's how we get to the track each and every week. If you own your own flight department as a NASCAR team, it gives you control over when that aircraft leaves, it gives you control over what airport you go to, and it gives direct control over when you return from the track. On a typical race weekend, we'll transport between 87 and 91 Joe Gibbs Racing employees to the track and back. It's quite a logistical feat, and we do that 36 weekends out of the year. I think the goal for us is to um, make things convenient for them. They get on our planes, I feed them, they sleep, and they help themselves to whatever they need. This is a Learjet Lear 31A Bombardier Learjet. It's a real popular aircraft on the NASCAR series. It's uh, low cost to operate and also low maintenance. It has about a two and a half hour fuel range, so it's not a transcontinental aircraft. It's powered by 3,500 pound jet thrust Honeywell engines, 3,500 pounds on each side and the Lear holds eight people plus a crew of two. We got one of our Saab 2000 turboprops. We have two of these that we use for our team transport mission. In order to make the aircraft more comfortable for our race crew members, we reduced the seating to 43 seats and 42 seats. These aircraft are 50,700 pound gross takeoff weight aircraft. They're equipped with 4,000 shaft horsepower Rolls-Royce engines. It's an excellent aircraft for the NASCAR team mission. This aircraft will take a 12,000 pound payload for 1,500 nautical miles with reserves. It's a very fast aircraft, 365 knots, which for a turboprop aircraft, that's approximately 400 miles per hour. The service ceiling on the aircraft is 31,000 feet. It's a very quiet aircraft. It has very low vibration levels. This aircraft is extremely fuel efficient. And the reason is you have a very large propeller with multiple blades that have this curved configuration. And the theory is you move a large volume of air slowly. And that's what makes the, the aircraft not only very fuel efficient, but it makes it extremely quiet. We're in the business of racing cars and winning races. And if the aviation department can contribute to that by providing safe and efficient transportation to and from the track, then we've done our part.